introduce your buddy. We'll get back to my boring summer later. Oh, yeah. I mean, we are joined by a special guest. When was the last time he was even on with us? I don't know. It feels like it's been forever. I don't know, but he looked like he was as slow as me out there. <laughs> <laughs> skating and skating yeah, but he and quicksand. Stick handle still. <laughs> oh, Keith yeah, Yandel. Keith Yandel joining the show after, uh, yeah, what, what seems like forever. But we just got to experience an SEC football game together. We'll experience. We'll talk about that in a bit. What's going on, dude? Not much, boy. It's just chilling. Um in Florida right now, just hanging out, enjoying the nice weather. Uh, glad to be on the show. Obviously, like you said, it's been a while, and I'm, uh, I'm glad to be here right now. It's been a busy couple of months, but uh, it just feels right sitting with you guys right now. We got to break this awkward silence. Keith, why did you come on the podcast today? We have a – you to, have to a very – band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can't endure an hour and a half of this shit. Okay, if you're going to hey, my balls up down. I mean, you put that one on the ladies tee for him and he just yeah. ripped it. Yeah. No, I want public opinion to, to have a vote if I'm overhyping or underhyping this band. All right, I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. And then All I'm right. going to go to a concert with Keith. And then we're going to celebrate Keith's what with with 10 fan attendance. Yeah, so uh, just coming on right now to let uh, you guys know. Uh, uh, obviously, I told you guys last night and um you know letting the spit and chicklets uh crew and and you know all your guys listeners because i think uh you guys and your listeners have been so good to me over the years i wanted to tell you guys first but um yeah i'm just i'm, I'm shutting it down i'm uh retiring from the game of hockey <laughs> what and literally run literally taking my talents to salt beach and doing nothing <laughs> congratulations my what friend. a fucking run dude Thanks. That is Amazing. crazy that you went that long. I know. It's pretty nuts even saying the word. It's like tough to say it, but like after what you did, buddy, holy shit. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. It's actually like the last like year, it's been like one of those things I've been thinking about and just like, obviously, you know how it is. Whip is RA. When you get a job one day, you'll know how it is. Um, <laughs> you know, when, when, when that's all, you know, in your life to, um, you know, to call it, uh, quits on it is kind of i mean you don't even want to say quits but just to call it an end is you know it's nerve-wracking you're worried about what you're going to do you know especially this time of the year usually ramping up for training camp and um you know i think for me the last like couple weeks i've really uh been at ease with it and you know really enjoyed spending time with the families and obviously being able to go on a trip with wit and uh you know that wouldn't happen in years past. So I think, I think for me, I'm really at ease with it. And I, uh, looking forward to the next chapter for sure. Did you like consult with any, anybody who had already been through the process? Like, buddy, it's such a, a, a life shock, right? Like for, for all of us. And like, especially as long as you've been doing it and it's all you've ever known. It's like, mm -hmm. like, who, who'd you talk to? So I talked to, I talked to a bunch of guys, obviously wit, um, you know, yourself guys like Rick Nash donor, um, Roberto Luongo, um, you know, guys like Mike Reggie Green, Roach. Just, yeah, I Reggie just Roach. Names. Um, yeah, just yeah, just making <laughs> up names. Just guys that have you know done it and then got right back into hockey and and just trying to figure out what the next plan is for me. And um, you know, I think guys, the it, it seems like guys are especially nowadays really at ease with it. And obviously, we've been lucky enough to make enough money where you're kind of not too worried about it that much, but I think the you better main, be at ease. Yeah. I, I think for in, in biz, you mentioned it a lot is, is the, the mental aspect of it oh, and yeah. just finding your way in life and what you're going to do. And, you know, for me right now, it's focusing on, you know, the next chapter and, and being a good family guy and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I think, I think kind of the majority of thing that guys have told me is once you kind of, once you know, once your body tells you, yourself that it's kind of time to shut it down, and then I think it time, the time has come. And I think for me, it was this summer. I had no interest in working out. Um, kind of, it was just kind of at the point where I was like, all right, this is it. It's it's not what uh, worth fighting for. Trying to you know grind it out another year and and um, you know take the pressure away from the family I can be around. So I think for me, it was just kind of. I'm, I'm more at ease right now. That's for sure. I, I was curious though, because at the end of the year and, and no doubt with what kind of happened at the end of your season, the, there's more that goes into it, but at the end of the year, you're just done with hockey. 
But then all of a sudden I heard through the grapevine and yourself, teams are calling, hey, you want to come play for this year? And that's when I thought you might be like, all right, I'm not done yet. But mentally, it, it seemed like you didn't even really ever have any of that that thought of like, all right, maybe I give it one more year, right? Yeah, I was I, even during the season last year, it was kind of I was at the point and, um, you know, if I wasn't with Kevin or, you know, th- those guys in the Flyers, they the were the dart best. league. Yeah, the, to, <laughs> to be in that locker room with those guys was so fun. It made the year amazing. Like we had the best time. Obviously, on ice was was difficult for everyone. But, um, you know, that that was kind of a thing where I was like, All right, if you go to another team, you're going to have as much fun. Is it going to yeah. be the same type of group? Um and I think for me too, if I wasn't a hundred percent into it, I, I wouldn't put that on another team to kind of be like, I, I didn't want to be halfway in halfway out. And uh, once I knew I was a hundred percent not going to be into it, I, I figured it was time to, to hang them up. Have Go you ahead. worked out? Oh yes. I Steve actually, the, la- the last like two weeks I've been, I've been, I've been shooting hoops, playing basketball, I've been doing cardio tennis. Um, so I, I've been getting some sweats here and there, but nothing too crazy. What, what basketball sneakers are you rocking? depends what day it is my guy because uh, i get yeah, you you got the poser sneakers on with the socks like the nba socks and shit no i wear a full uniform no, got a head, dude, got a headband <laughs> the armband uh hey, no i just go right. but also like being able to like live life balanced it gets it's mm-hmm. so crazy for that many years like you're just you you can't do anything on your own free will other than like what like they give you christmas and then all-star break and then, yeah, but even then, of, you're still like you, you're. Yeah, you can't be dialed out. You know, right. you, you you might hit the tequila bottle like one night, and then you're already like, oh fuck! Now I gotta like, you know, cut the weight of this, get back on the ice, get my edges back, fucking figure out the power play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, that that part's been great, um, especially now, like seeing the guys. I was just out in Vegas. Um, at oh, the tell us day. about that. Weren't you doing the interviews? Yeah, I was doing the interview, just like just in, just fun stuff with the guys doing. It was like a golf simulator, um, but just seeing those guys and like they're they're so ready for the season to start. You know that yeah. week before camp, you just you just want it to happen. And, I wasn't. Uh, I'm like, well, fuck, I was how actually panicked. How am I gonna I was like, shape. I'm overpaid and out of shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm uh, like calling in, infomercials. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the YMCA with like, hydroxy yeah. cut for three days. <laughs> remember, I, hey, remember I was taking like Jack 3D at one oh, point, and like God. guys, ah, uh, pretty sure that's illegal. I'm like, yeah. oh shit, uh, that's on the banned substance list, biz. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Anything getting my fucking GNC. blood drained like a day before. I can. <laughs> <laughs> show up no blood yeah. um yeah so I, I think uh with that just seeing those guys like the way that they've been grinding all summer it's been nice to but it also i was like oh god you feel a little lost around this time you're like oh god i feel like yeah, I that's a tough time there. i like, feel like i should be impact? somewhere I mean, yeah <laughs> yeah I'll be hey, funny enough though bucks a day this was the exact time basically that i retired but i had gone to camp in europe and it was nice because fall golf. So at least down in Florida, as the weather gets <laughs> nice, I I give myself I give yourself no grant. When, when I was done, I was not married, didn't have kids, but I give yourself a year to just really enjoy life, and then be like, all right, I got to do something. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, I the summer I enjoyed it a lot, um, just traveling, doing stuff, and you know when you during the summer, like you do go on trips and stuff, but you're still working out, you're still like. No, eating well um <laughs> but but i this Ooh. summer it was just like kind of a little bit of a little bit of everything enjoying my time and and uh yeah i'm definitely in a good place so i think it's fair that we go back to last season and and you know as much as the team suffered like the group of guys so yeah. you you said you've never had so much maybe this is the problem you've never had so much as much yeah. fun as you did in last season with that yeah. group of guys in philadelphia yeah, and that's no offense to uh, any other team that I've been on. Obviously, I've had great times everywhere, but this <laughs> this group was in. <laughs> I mean, I was there with Kevin, so it was just like every day, it just jokes. But um, yeah, we we had a great time, and I mean, we in the beginning of the year when we were doing good, it was kind of it was dialed in, you know, and, you know. I wouldn't say we like guys weren't out partying and all that stuff and acting crazy, but we we had a great time in the locker room, even towards the end of the season when you weren't winning it, it's you know it could have been a lot worse coming to the rink but the guys there like lots and uh tk sanny uh nick sealer like I, like you're just excited to see guys every day and uh we, we we definitely had a blast obviously not the best uh outcome of the season but it was a it was a lot of fun 